All right, today we're... Oh, you're not meant to jump before the jump pad. All right, today we're doing Fexty. Um, this level is very strange. It's pretty much two things that you die to once I get consistent at this pre-drop, which is the first ship in the drop and then the wave at 50, because that wave is dumb. That's pretty much what this level's known for, is having the dumb wave at 50, because the wave at 50 is really stupid and unnecessarily hard, and it could be in, like, could be in Sonic Wave. Probably even something harder. I don't know. You don't hold that. That's a micro-click. Um, but I like this level as a whole, because obviously I've beaten hard, like, you know, hard wave levels, such as things like Solar Flare and OSWI. I don't find the wave too bad. I'm still gonna die to the wave. And it's still definitely the hardest part of the level. I'm gonna die there a lot, but I don't find it like insane. I'm not gonna die there like, I shouldn't die there 50 times before passing it once. Thankfully, past the wave is not too bad. I might die there once or twice through stupidity, but it, past the wave is really not too bad at all. I can see everything up to the wave as well getting consistent, besides the dropship. As I said, the dropship is, or not the very first dropship, like, but. It's some dumb jewel thing, and it's really bad. I do not like it at all. Just like use gravity portals and say, you'll see when I get there. I will. I do not expect to not die there. I don't like that bl blue orb either. I'm pretty sure this same creator made a decent part of Icotact as well, which is probably why I enjoy this level because I enjoyed Icotact. As, I, I, I really like Icotact. I like that way more than most people because probably just because I got lucky at the last wave. Can I stop clicking there? Why am I doing that? But yeah, as a whole, I do like this level. I mean, I might get annoyed with the wave. That's a distinct possibility, but um, we'll see. Now, come on. I forgot what to do. Great job. Okay, drop time. First of all, okay, we got to the dumb ship that I expected to die to. First of all, what is that transition? It, it is awful. Like, that is one of the worst transitions into a jewel I've ever seen. It does not work at all. And second, why do I keep clicking there? And second of all, the ship, the actual gameplay after that also just does not work. But well, at least we got to the drop. Yeah, like, the, the, like... The, just because of the jump pads on the top, you change gravity a million times. It's one of the most annoying gimmicks. Just use gravity portals in the part. And then also sometimes that yellow will just do way too high. I do not like that ship. And then sometimes like you just, you can't live that. Cause if you click there, if you click in that spike part, you're not surviving. If you click in that corridor, that, yeah, that little spike gap, you're not surviving. And then sometimes you're too low. Like this ship is absolute garbage. Okay, I, I find the beginning of the wave a lot harder than that part of the wave. That's a surprise. I passed a few hard things between the ship and the wave. Yeah, but the transition into the wave is, for me, in my opinion, easily the hardest part. We got to the wave. That's insane. Um, yeah, but as you can see, you can see why this wave is hard. It's really hard. Um, but no, I, that's, that's good. I'm happy with that. To be honest, even though that wave is a stupid, dumb choke point, I still think the dual ship is actually worse as a part because that... Because at least that wave feels fair. The jewel ship just doesn't feel fair. I hate this ship. Yeah, like this orb, you have to click so late. It's so hard. Because you, you can't click it too late because that spike. But you also have to click it so late to get up there. It's so hard. You have to click there, buddy. What happened? Did I not click the blue? What happened? That's what I expected to happen. This wave is so hard. Ah, oh, again, the beginning of this wave, so hard. You no, know, it's kind of weird how a level that is just, with such a, a dumb choke point, it's still fun because it feels more like this level was built around the, the dumb wave part than just, it like, it feels intentional. It doesn't, like a lot of the times choke points just feel random and dumb. This doesn't feel random. I mean, it's still a bit dumb, but like, it doesn't feel stupid. It feels like it's part of the level. It feels like it's meant to be part of the level. And the gameplay around it, like the gameplay before it isn't boring. I mean, I say that I've only gotten there three times. The gameplay before it isn't boring. The gameplay after it's like a lot easier. It actually feels like it's integrated into the level properly. It's a good way to do like a choke point or like a 
Well, that's clearly a choke point, like a choke part, I guess. I don't like that that's a death. But yeah, it actually feels properly integrated into the level without feeling just like a random difficulty spike for no reason. Which is good, and if you're going to make a level with choke points, do it like this. Make it, like, actually a proper... Make it feel like it's part of the level. Like, make it feel intentional. Make it feel not just bad. Oh, too early? Damn it, dude. At least I passed the getting again. Oh, that? That's stupid. Damn it. Come on. Damn. Damn it, I could I could have beaten it there, but no. Oh well. Damn. Fair. Fair. Damn it, dude. Damn. I just forgot what to do. Great. I brain death. I passed the wave and then threw. Great. Oh, I got the bad transition? No! For some reason, this transition just doesn't work. Are you kidding? I literally passed it twice in a row. Oh, last click. Are you kidding? Oh, nice, let's go. There you go. <laughs> nice. I was waiting for the, the, the last fucking spike. <laughs> that would have been annoying. All right, yeah, no, that was a lot of fun. And that took 1,507 attempts. I really liked that. I thought that was fun. Even despite dying to the wave a million times. Like, it's still enjoyable and dying past the wave kind of once or twice. Like, the transition happens because of how you do the wave, so it's kind of only really once. I'm glad I didn't throw past that, the beginning of the swing copter. I nearly did. I forgot the pa click pan of the swing copter. I nearly did the first four clicks way too slowly and sped up. That made me panic. I somehow didn't die there and then somehow actually just didn't throw. I really like that level. That is a lot of fun. I enjoyed that a lot. I like it. Of course I like it. Again, me liking bad levels. <laughs> like me liking the usually dislike levels. What a surprise. But no, it's it's fun. Now with that done, I'm gonna say thank you all for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!